Hey guys, I'm Rob. I'm Sierra. And welcome to RC Life 365. We have officially been in South Korea living here for over six months now. And I think it's about time that we clear up some myths, some stigmas that I know I heard about before I came to South Korea. What do you say? Sounds good. All right, take it away. So the myth is that they eat dog. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Not anymore, at least. Now, back in older Korea, they used to because they were just animals. But nowadays, in New Age Korea, they don't eat dog because they're pets. They're yep. friends now, right? Yep. They're friends and not food. <laughs> now, they have a lot of puppy stores. Tell me about that. Yeah. Like, a lot of little dogs. The little dogs are the majority. Like, I don't see a lot of Koreans with, like, big like German Shepherds or... I've like, seen a couple of them, yeah. and they the ones that own the big dogs, they walk around real proud. Like, <laughs> look at my giant dog, it can eat your little thing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, once again, I have some friends, some older friends, that uh, ha have told me that they have eaten dog in the past. Mm -hmm. And, but nowadays, they don't really do that. It's not a common thing, yeah. you know? Korea's really moving away from that. Yeah, that's good. All right, now, myth number two is that Korea has this new age, spacey kind of technology. And Korea is the home to Kia, and it's the home to Samsung, and, and brands like that, that have this awesome tech. And so some stuff does come out here before it does in the States, right? Yeah. But it's not like really high techy. This is the home as well, sorry. This is the home of VR mm -hmm. as well. Like yeah. VR is really big here, yeah. and they got a lot of it. But it's not like augmented reality glasses that everybody's walking around with. There's no flying cars. So what were you saying? Pretty much what you just said. So oh, yeah. Fantastic. So yeah, there's not a lot of this new spacey tech here in Korea, but there is a lot of tech period. It's got mm -hmm. the same stuff as we have back in the States. Just I think they have a lot more of it because everything's crammed in such a smaller space. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's great, but there's not a lot of new tech. So for number three is that it's expensive to travel around South Korea. Yeah. And living here for about six months now, that's not really the case. It's really cheap to use the subway and to use the KTX for two people. Mm. And I've actually read online that a person traveled around South Korea for 17 days and they only spent $1,500. When that's I, that's that's cheap. Yeah, whenever me and you went to Disney mm -hmm. last year um, in Florida, we spent fifteen hundred dollars for just five days. Yeah, not even a full week for five yeah. days. And so it's really inexpensive to travel around South Korea. Yeah, and so another thing about the KTX traveling for just just one person on the KTX is forty dollars, mm -hmm. and that might seem like a lot, yeah. but as compared to taking a car four hours up to yes. Seoul versus the hour and a half that it yeah. takes on the KTX for 40 bucks is nothing. Yeah. Right? And so it's really not expensive to travel here in Korea. I think you're exactly right. You know how much it actually is to travel to Busan from here? How much? Less than 20 bucks. Really? Yep. Go to the beach from Daegu, South Korea to Busan is less than 20 bucks. And it's wow. fantastic. So we'll definitely be making some videos about that. Heck Check yeah. back in the future. <laughs> subscribe, hit the subscribe button so you guys can see that in the future. Some Busan trips. It's gonna be fantastic. So it's not really that expensive to travel here in South Korea. Myth busted. Now that was three myths. This this video is titled Three Myths That Surround South Korea. But here's an extra point that I think for all my military friends uh, for you to hear, because it's important. Mm -hmm. Before I came here, I heard a lot of talk about how, you know, if you're going to South Korea, I'm sorry. People said that coming to South Korea is boring. There's not a lot of stuff to do. People said that going to Germany is great, but South Korea is not fun. So I have to just tell you that, you know what, if you're coming with your family or by yourself, and, and, and it, that would suck to have to leave your family, I'm glad I didn't have to, but if you do have to come alone, it's still a great place to be. There's still tons of stuff to do, okay? People are all the time going out to clubs and having fun there. There's tons of theaters and all, all the stuff that we do here, you can do with or without your family. Check out our channel if you're looking for fun stuff to do here in South Korea. It's a great place to be, guys. Yeah. Don't frown, don't be upset if you, if you learn you have to come to South Korea. Korea. It's fantastic, all right? All right, guys, now if you like this video and you found the information that we provided you helpful, valuable, give it a thumbs up. And if you really like this video, what can they do? Subscribe. Bye, guys. All right, guys, as you probably know, this is the part of the video, the end screen here, where we like to tease what's gonna happen in the next video. That's kind of hard to do because next week is gonna be a live video where we are chatting with my mom, because my mom's coming here to South Korea about her experience 
traveling from the United States to South Korea. What was hard, what was easy, all of that stuff. And also during that live, we're gonna be picking out the winners from the Valentine's Day giveaway. I know it's a little bit late, but that's what we're doing, and I hope you guys tune in to enjoy. We'll see you there.